What's up, boys? <laughs> oh. Oh. Are we on camera? Oh. <laughs> Camera's on, baby. I, I'm, it's like all I can do not to lean back right now in this chair. Is that a leaner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. EX comfy baby. E EX chill as hell. Un untapped comfy. Oh my <laughs> word, dude! Throw throw back to the EX range. Oh Holy man, crap, dude, I love those days. Yes, very very good days. There. We uh, if you guys haven't noticed, by the way, we're in a very chill setting right now. Very we're, chill setting. We're kind of like going we're also off the outside. Cuff. Yeah, which is awesome. Risky because you, you well you That's and I awesome. have, you and I have talked about like okay. actually doing stuff outside like when yeah, it comes right. to the podcast. Right. Because it, the only thing that's got in the way is just sound. Sure. That's, that's purely sure. it. Luckily, these mics will hopefully. It's a, it's a little breezy out tonight. Yeah. But. The what's it called? We're getting blocked in where it's like I think it's stopping yeah. the breeze, which yeah. is good. Yes. Yeah. Good. But yeah. no, we kind of wanted to touch what a little bit, a little bit of like modern dating type stuff. Sure. Yeah. yeah dude. I don't, yeah. I don't. We don't really have points or anything. No. Like, by no means. Yeah. I don't know. One of us is in a relationship right now. One of one of us isn't. He just dropped. I it. just I dropped it. it. I love it, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I do have a girlfriend. It's true. It is a, it's a true fact. Say it again. Jacob Gable has yep, a girlfriend. Yep, catch him on camera. Catch him on camera. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, man. That's Dude, funny. yeah, well, it's, it's, it, you, you bring that up, though, because it's, it's an interesting dilemma to, not dilemma, that sounds weird, um, an interesting way to look at it to see, like, a dilemma. single person and then, and then a person in a relationship and, like, sure. the two different viewpoints from those angles and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, 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 right. right. Um, well, there's only one angle, but... <laughs> This guy. We need to get multiple this angles, guy. though. Oh, yeah. It, like, well, we will. Like, when you're going yeah. off, we need you on the screen, and I'm just sitting here just, like, you know, picking my nose or something. And then when I'm going <laughs> off, I need to be on the screen and have you picking your nose or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shot, dude. Oh, man. I'm just imagining you just digging in your nose right just now. Just a gold digger, man. Yeah. That's what they call me. You got you to do what you got to do. Jacob sometimes. Gold Digger yeah. works. <laughs> Dating. This anyway. Is awesome. Dude. Dating. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. Dating. Yeah. Modern dating. Um, dude, I think, so one thing I actually saw recently that I knew, I know that you'll find this stupid, just just I found it stupid, mm. Um, mm. was- Love stupid shit. Love stupid shit. Yeah. Um, Wait, can we cuss on YouTube? To a point, I guess. Yeah. yeah. They, they haven't taken anything down yet, right? <laughs> um, uh, but it was like, and I think it was, a, I, it had to have been a troll thing, but- mm -hmm. But there are actual accounts that are saying this for real, where uh -huh. it's like say saying like, "Oh, I'm 40 years old and I'm not married. Men don't get married. It, it'll like mm. ruin your life." Mm. I don't know if you've seen that at all. Have you seen that as a so, modern thing? So I haven't seen it, but I've heard it from people. I've heard it from people um, in the sense that, oh, she just she'll just drag you down, dude. Don't get married. Like you'll regret getting married. And it's just like, uh, yeah, you know. So there's two. There's kind of two things that it immediately makes me feel like one. You almost feel for the guy. It's like, dude, that just means you chose chose the wrong partner, you know. And are you treating her right? Because if you don't feel Good like question. she's treating you right, well, are you treating her right? And the other one is, I have absolutely no idea what I was going to say now. That's right. Totally yeah. lost it. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Well, Damn, the the, 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 the other one would be like, you know. Did you even take the time to evaluate who you're getting in a relationship sure, with? Sure, which kind of goes into that yeah. point a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, dude, dating's so tough. <laughs> it, it really is. It's so yeah, hard, man. 100%. Like, it's so hard. Like, I don't know. Like, one day, like, you're in love and, like, you feel great and all this stuff. And then, not that, like, one day you just fall out of love. Because, like, I don't that's think that's true. Yeah. I think there's a process that leads up yeah. to you. Um, either falling out of love or, or I don't know, there's any number of reasons. Sure. You know, any yeah. number of reasons. And I think the ones that last, and obviously, like, we don't know this, but we can look at both sets of our parents who have very successful marriages. Yeah, we, we, have, we have honestly some better examples than probably most people do. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, look at our guys' night. Look at, you know, out of those 10 guys, 20% of them, so two of them, but two of those 10 guys, like, grew up without a dad, you know? And one of those guys who was yeah. our age, like, has a kid, you know, and has had a kid for a few years now, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, I think you're exactly right that we we definitely, uh, I don't know if we're in the minority to say because that might be a stretch, but we definitely have. How do you word it? I mean, a, a pretty good perspective on things when yeah. it comes to like a healthy marriage, what and a healthy relationship. Like. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, we have a clear, very clear view of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my opinion, yeah. Yeah, and I I, I think what separates those ones from ones that maybe end is just those people have a better persistence of working through different things. It, yeah. Any number of things, yeah. whether that's good or bad things. Yeah. You know? 
Um, and, you know, everyone's parents fight. Everyone fights in relationships. Everyone gets in arguments and whatnot. But it's your ability to to work through those things, I think, and and be able to be compassionate with the other person and understand the other person, too. Yeah. Um, but also understand yourself. At least that's my experience is, is where have I gone wrong with myself? You know, and then it, it kind of leads out to other things and whatnot. Um, sometimes it takes a while to see that. And, you know, I've kind of yeah. talked about this on the podcast before and whatnot, obviously. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Relationships are tough, man. Well, dude, I think, I, and you and I have kind of talked about this, you know, together when it's like, if you aren't, you know, getting out of a relationship, let's say like one relationship ends and mm. it was a year long or something like that, mm. um, which both you, you and I can attest to that actually. Sure, um, for sure, yeah. But if you're not getting better after that relationship, then you might be doing something wrong. True. Too. That's a really be- because good Because you dude. can't, you shouldn't be down, like, de- digressing. Is that a, is that a regressing. word? Regressing. Regressing. Yeah, regressing. Come on, dude. We're, we're trainers. Yeah. We regress yeah. movements every day. <laughs> so true. So true. Oh, my God. That's funny. But, I mean, yeah, if you're, if you're going in the opposite direction after a relationship. Degressing. Yeah, degressing. That, it sounds like, is that a like, word? Degress? No. It, it can't be. There's de- no degrade. way. Degrade. That's a yeah, word, yeah. but that's like, a regress is what you're looking for. Um. But, yeah, I mean, truthfully, like, if you're regressing, though, after a relationship, after year long, two years, three years, mm-hmm. six months even, whatever, sure. then you're not looking internally at that point in time either. Definitely not. Because yeah. there's always some, there's never, I, I guess I shouldn't say never because I don't want to do an extreme, but mm-hmm. there is a very unlikely chance that a relationship was 100% somebody's fault. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, there's examples of, like, cheating and stuff like that. Sure. But even, even in those scenarios. Even in those scenarios. Even in those scenarios. Yep. Like, they're. I'm not justifying cheating at all because like God no. Absolutely not. No way. Like I like I've never cheated on someone. I Me couldn't either. cheat on someone. Like we're both in the same boat there. Like like just I we just can't do it. We're just to toot our own horns here. Like we're too morally good to do that. Um yep. but sometimes there is like a reason that it happens, you know? Like the other person might might not be fulfilling a certain need. Again, it's not justifying cheating, but there is sometimes two sides to those stories. But you're exactly right. Like, very rarely, like, unless you kill someone's mom or something, like, kill your partner's mom or, like, something crazy like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but it's then, funny. I, I, I'm sure it's happened, though. You know? Oh, like, yeah, I'm sure it's probably, happened. Probably. You know? Humans but, are nuts, dude. Dude, hum- humans are crazy. Yeah. Humans I, are crazy. Well, the thing is, like, oh, man, I, I think that's, that's great because even in a cheating situation, you know, you could have ignored obvious red flags in that mm. person then they cheated on you yeah you know and you you could have not communicated with them at all mm-hmm. and they they did they cheated because they were looking for attention that way yeah. which again doesn't justify it but right, right. that's how it was right something led to it though yeah so yeah. yeah there there is some form and percentage of blame there no matter what definitely yeah and it's that's a hard pill to swallow i think yeah um and i because i had to swallow that pill and it's like like how how do you yeah, right. how, do you, how do you correctly do that? Yeah, right. You know, but right. um, yeah, dude, like, like you're right because it's it's so it's so hard with dating because humans are just so we're imperfect. Like, there's no other way to put it. Mm-hmm. And like, we had a whole know, episode about it. exactly. Yeah. Like, I mean, sin, sin is that way, and like sin makes us that way. We're imperfect, mm-hmm. so it's a very tough road to travel because you're trying to work through another human being who's also flawed and you're also flawed and you guys are trying to make things work. Mm-hmm. And that's what's kind of beautiful about it in a sure. lot of ways. Sure. But it's just, no matter what, like if I had to give a piece of advice to any young men, like it would be, dude, you can't expect this to be perfect. Right. Like there's like one dude in every very once in a while that marries his high school sweetheart and it's like, yeah, this is sure. the one. Sure. It's not likely you're going to be the first girl you date or the even the second girl or third girl sometimes. Right. And she ended up being your wife. Like right. it's just... It's that's it's tough. Yeah, it's it's how it is. Right. Humans are imperfect, and you have to take something from each of those relationships ending. You have to take something to yeah. make you better, or make you more aware for the next person, or you know whatever it might be. Um, and like we said earlier, like if you are regressing after a relationship ends, like it probably ended because of you. You know what I mean? And maybe you're not willing to accept that yet, or see that yet, or, or right. whatever. Right. Because um, I've kind of been on that side of things. Not that I was regressing after after a relationship necessarily, but it it took me a while to look at myself for it, for certain issues and whatnot. And I've put, you know, dedicated work to to being better at those things and and being yes. trying to be a little bit more emotionally intelligent and control the emotions a little bit better and whatnot. Um, 
and I, I hope anyway that it's appearing that it's showing that it's working. Um, I feel like it is internally. I would say it is, um, 100%. You know, but I, I may not know the answer to that question until I'm back in another relationship, you know, back into another romantic that's, that's relationship. That's also true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which, huh, and we just got done doing a, a podcast episode about delayed gratification, but that's, that's kind of delayed gratification there. Like continuing to hammer away just at myself, yeah, working on myself, yeah. building myself, you know, building the mind that I want, building the body that I want until I'm with another person, which could be a month from now. It could be a year from now. It could be 10 years from now, yep. you know, until I maybe get the answer to that, which I'm willing to accept that. You know, I'm not going to rush into anything. It's a good thing. Look for something right it's now. It's a good thing. I can yeah. attest that in my current relationship. I... I had a lot in my previous relationships, I had a lot of jealousy and that was like a big thing um, that I had to kind of harness because, you know, and, and jealousy is a pretty normal thing. I feel like in a lot of ways too, mm-hmm. but there, there is a danger to it being consuming you. So yeah, to speak. definitely. And because it, it kind of consumed like me to obsessive. the point where it was like, was like, I was worried like, are you talking to this person? Are you talking to this yeah. person? All the time. I'm just yeah. freaking out. Yeah. And it did me no good. Right. At all. Right. And right. in all reality, like, you know, that's it's not an option like mm-hmm. I because all well, it does make the relationship worse at that point in time. sure sure um but yeah like I what I can say in the current relationship is that I feel much more just comfortable in letting things roll in a lot of ways too yeah. which is also a testament to her in a lot of ways too definitely because yeah. I feel more comfortable in the relationship that way as well yeah. um and just not letting every little thing yeah blow up yeah basically. just like hit me hit me in the face and like yeah right yeah 100% right. dude 100% yeah I mean, all in all, dude, like, relationships are tough. Dealing with your emotions, dealing with other people's emotions are tough. You know, like, it, you never learn the, the 100% answers to all of it. You just kind of have to get through it and, and learn from your experiences, you know? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, guys, that's uh, your first uh, late night thoughts with the Jakes. Maybe a title there. I don't know. Interesting. Something like, I, I with like the that. Jacobs. Like, yeah. I don't know. Something. Yeah. Something that came to mind the anyway. The double J, as the, we, the J squared as we started, as we started out this. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I've come to talk. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I thought we were still going. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe. Leave oh, a yeah. comment. We'll see you next time. Peace, guys.